School officials evacuated the high school and alerted parents. Parents rushed to the middle school where students were taken. There, the school released students five at a time. And News Channel 5's Michael Bodlin talked with parents today. Michael, unimaginably difficult, anxious morning for these parents. It, it truly was. Those parents were notified by an automated phone call from the school, and you had kids uh, the, at the high school. They're over at Maple Elementary. That's where they were told to go pick up their kids. Or you can come over to Chardon Middle School, which is over where we are right now. We can tell you, if you were coming down North Road, it was probably about a 20-minute to 30-minute wait. So as a parent, you, you can imagine, they were very, very anxious. They just want to see their kid, touch their kid, feel their kid, and they, they just had to wait in line until they could get over here. And obviously for these parents, truly today was an emotional time. It was a hug like no other. Knowing that your child oh, Daddy, your kid's okay. was going to be fine. Do you know he's all right? All right, I got, I got Helen. Okay, bye. But not every parent was so sure at first. I called her dad and said, I haven't heard anything which scares me. Like beyond belief, but I'm afraid I could put her at jeopardy if I would call and her phone would go off in case she is hiding from this person um, with a gun. Many stood in line at Maple Elementary and here at Chardon Middle School just wanted to grab hold of their kid to see with their own eyes that their child was safe. You don't know what's actually happening until you talk to your son or daughter, you know, find actually what, what actually is happening. Are they safe and, you know, are the shooters in, you know, in custody and what, what actually happened? As a parent, you want to come down here as quickly as possible, even though they were safe and there was no rush. Relieved, but still very upset. It's very sad that these right? things happen. Now, I did speak to some parents. They told me that some of their kids were texting them from inside the classroom, and that made them feel a little more at ease as they were going to pick them up. Well, live in Chardon, I'm Michael Baldwin. Here's Channel 5. Okay, thank you, Michael. As Michael said, Chardon Local School District has canceled classes for tomorrow. And the school will have grief counselors on hand tonight.